In this video, we're going to be going over how to properly do YouTube keyword research for your videos. Let's get into it. I put out videos on my music thinking, oh, okay, I'm just going to blow up on YouTube. People are going to come and, 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 and watch my videos and they're going to love the music. That's not what happens, okay? You have to do the research to find out, wait for it, what people are all ready searching for oh my goodness it was such a brain blow when i found out that i could actually do research on a platform such as you know vidiq.com or you know youtube search to see what people are already searching for so i recommend going to something like vidiq.com go to vidiq.com and and click on the tab keywords okay and then type in the keyword that you are wanting to do a video on so on so if you want to teach people how to if you're a skateboarder and you want to teach people how to do a kickflip you're going to type in how to do a kickflip and you look that up now you're looking for two things number one you're looking for are there at least 1,000 searches per month for that keyword I'm gonna be using the word the phrase keyword a lot and what that is referring to is a group of words a keyword could just be one word or two words or a keyword or they may say keyword phrase I'm just gonna use keyword a keyword could be a group of a few different words so your keyword that you're trying to rank on YouTube for well what does that mean rank on YouTube for that means if somebody goes on YouTube and they look up how to do a kickflip, right? They go on YouTube, they search for it, how to do a kickflip. You want your video to pop up in say the first one, two, or three options of videos because you know as well as I do that when we're searching for something, hey, we're gonna look and we're gonna look at maybe the first three to five uh, videos and, uh, and we're gonna pick one of those videos to watch. Seldom do we actually go down to the bottom of the list and then go to page two, page three, right? So you need to be one of those words. That's called ranking you need to rank on that first page minimally best best case scenario you rank one two or three but even just to rank on that first page when people search for how to do a kickflip boom your video pops up that's what's going to allow you to get traffic okay so we want a keyword that we can rank for now if we're just starting out guess what we need a low competition keyword so here's the keyword how to do a kickflip now if it has low competition or very low competition we want that keyword and and if there's at least a thousand monthly searches we want that traffic coming to us if we look up a keyword and there's 10,000 or 100,000 monthly searches with low competition wow boom that's a um, that's the that's the bomb.com okay definitely do that um, but more than likely right you're gonna be looking for low competition because you want to be the the, the video that's gonna rank in those keyword spots so a lot of people will go after the big dogs right they'll try and find the the keywords that have you know a, a search volume of a hundred thousand or a million but the competition is so high meaning it's it's uh, overly saturated the market is overly saturated and you're never gonna have a chance to start to grow your channel so you want to start out seems counterproductive right you could, you want to start a YouTube channel to blow up right but you want to start out small okay start out small look for keywords that have low competition but at least a thousand monthly searches and you can start to slowly build your channel that way so again we're doing things in reverse we're gonna search first for what people are actually looking for and if it's not if it's how to do a kickflip right this might have high competition we're not going to go for it so we're looking for something um, that we're interested in that has low competition and at least a thousand keyword searches and you're going to use that keyword in the video title and in the description section okay and then you're going to find similar keywords so when you're on vidIQ and you're looking up that particular keyword just say how to do a kickflip it'll give you similar keywords you're also going to put those similar keywords 
in your tags. So down at the bottom, you see here tags. You're going to use the keyword, the for, I would put it first, the one that you're going for, and then put related keywords next to it. You want to know the four YouTube secrets that small channels learn too late. Check out that video right there.